Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool. On today, we are talking about one of my favorite subjects, and that is lawnmowers, specifically battery powered riding lawnmowers. As you know, if you watch some of my videos, I am huge into battery lawnmowers. In fact, I have, well, all of them from Ryobi. Now, Ryobi is owned by a larger company called TTI. They also own Milwaukee, Hart, Rigid, Hoover, some other companies like that. So those sister companies really support each other. One of the big things or one of the big changes that Ryobi did is they made all Z-Turn lawnmowers. Those are riding lawnmowers. And if go ahead, hit the link down below. You're going to see some of the videos that I made on those. They're pretty incredible. But one of the things that they got away from was a steering wheel riding lawnmower. <clears throat> And there's a good reason for that because Hart started their own line of riding lawnmowers and they took that base design frame, all of that, and they migrated that from Ryobi to Hart. So essentially what you have is the same lawnmower, but, big butt, huge big butt, <laughs> is that um, when it was Ryobi, it was a 48 volt lead acid battery and you could get it in different amp hours. I have it in the 100 amp hour. The big thing about lead acid batteries is that you can only use 50% of the capacity of that battery. And what that means is, well, you're only going to get 50 uh, run hour, sorry, you're only going to get 50 amp hours of runtime out of that, which is going to limit your abilities and they're pretty heavy batteries. Now, whenever they went over to the platform for heart, they actually converted to lithium ion. And they went from a 48 volt to an 80 volt, which is a huge deal. And as you can see in the video, this thing is actually pretty sweet looking. It's got a nice charging point. It's got a single point adjustment. I mean, it's got a nice cutting deck. It's 30 inches, uh, so that means you can get around to anyone. It's got a pretty tight turning radius for what it is as well. Now, if we take a look up under the seat, you're going to see it has storage. You don't see the batteries. That's a big point. You actually don't see the batteries in there. So being that it went from 48 volts to 80 volts, you would think they would be on the same 80 volt platform as Ryobi with the removable batteries. Well, we don't see that here. But something that I want to highlight that just blows my mind and I can't believe they have it. It is amazing. Check this out. We're going to zoom in. And what do we see? This is a blower. This is actually a 700 CFM blower that they have integrated within the chute of the bagger so whenever it gets clogged in they always get clogged they always get clogged boom you hit the button you turn that on and it blows it out now on the ryobi ones they have like called chute clear and it just spins the blades a little bit faster this is an external uh, use and if you look at commercial mowers they have something like this where it chops it dices it and it pushes it and it gives it that extra power that you need to get through well this is mimicking that and this is doing basically the same thing so you're going to be able to clear that shoot especially with cf 700 cfm that is very very impressive i am so glad to see this on a lawnmower that they actually came out with now one of the things that i was struggling with that i was trying to find was what is the amp hour of the batteries? Now, this is rated to mow up to one acre, and I believe it's two hours of runtime, but it doesn't actually tell you what is the amp hour of the battery. So, um, all I can say is that whatever the rating is of it, and there's two batteries there, it doesn't look like it's a suitcase battery like you would see from Ryobi. It looks like an internal battery, and I'm not really sure what that looks like. But it probably doesn't cost as much as some of the other ones, and that's how they keep the price a little bit lower on this machine. All I can say is I really wish I had this. I'd love to push it up against my other lithium ions. Uh, I actually have the iDrive Z-Turn, and i just love to see how you can actually do it. One of the big things that I didn't mention before is that with lithium ion, you can use 100% of the battery. So instead of that huge lead acid battery where you can only use 50 percent well you're going to use 100 percent of lithium ion and it's a lot lighter so you get some efficiencies there from losing the weight you're going to be a little bit faster this one rates at five miles per hour four two miles per hour back now that's the same as the ryobi one as well so if you are looking for a riding lawnmower i would highly suggest checking out heart i know the base model i know the form 
fit of this particular mower, I know it's going to be great for you. And with lithium ion, it's going to be very convenient. Take it into consideration. I really hope that you all like this video. I hope that it was informational, entertaining, maybe thought provoking a little bit. Hopefully, maybe you all uh, tell me what you think about it. Please like and share. It's really cool to share with your friends. Share the video, please. And um, we really hope to see you in the next one. God bless and take care, everybody.